Hello everyone, welcome to another Roblox game development tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to be learning more about guns, and we're actually going to fire the bullet today. Now, I'm not going to teach you guys how to make the bullet hurt anybody, or even how to repel the bullet forwards just yet, but we are going to learn how to at least make the bullet appear. Now, today is the last episode, guys when I will not be at least headed to or in Chicago until next Monday. That's right, I am going to BloxCon. I am going to be there and hopefully, unless they tell me I'm not allowed to, I plan on using my iPod Touch to record myself at some of the different events such as Hackathon, which I plan on participating in. Um, I'll I might, unless I'm not allowed to record some of the main stage presentation. Uh, I know Roblox is going to be recording it all and putting it all onto the uh, BloxCon for all you people that didn't pay for tickets. <laughs> um, but I just, I don't know, a second place might be good. And then you can also hear my comments as it goes and be very first thoughts, not just after I get back and I decide to make a vlog about my overall thoughts. So, I will be at BloxCon and get ready. I probably won't upload any of the videos from BloxCon until I get back after it. Because, it, it'll take some time to, like, edit and upload. But, uh, yeah. I can't wait, guys. Alright. Anyway. So let's get to the guns for today. Black's kind of still be there on Saturday. Alright, go to the starter pack. Go to light. White. Okay, that... I must have accidentally moved it earlier. I don't know. I just pressed Control-Z twice. Anyway, firing is in here now. Alright. Go into firing and... Alright, so... Right now, all we're doing in this is we're checking that it's enabled and it's not reloading. We're changing the char to equal tool that parent, and game that players get player from character char equals equals script dot parent dot player dot value. Yeah, you guys don't need to see that. You guys should remember it. We're doing a lot of good stuff that's going to help make this gun better, but we're not doing anything. To yield a result. There's no result from this right now. Nothing happens that we can see except a slightly laggier game, but I don't think we can even see that. So we're gonna go and we're going to make a new function first. And we're gonna call it fire. In this function, we're going to print firing. And down here, once we've done all these checks, we're just gonna do fire. Um, and in this fire, actually, one more thing. Reloading equals true. And after it, reloading equals false. Okay. And maybe we should put that into this fire. Yeah, we'll put it into fire. Okay. So there we go. Now we can press F6. And we can test this baby out, guys. This gun is going to hopefully be pretty awesome alright walk around wait for the gun to load alright now shoot alright alright go ahead and go down to the output firing 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 it goes on as many times as I click right now so we know that it's calling fire correctly and we at least yielded a result and now we can actually get to the work of making a bullet appear. So, first things first, that's actually making the part, right? You, you can't make something appear unless you actually instantiate it. So, we're going to make uh, bullet equal instance dot new part. Bullet dot... Uh, size equals actually hold on what let's go whoa what uh cancel cancel all right 
I accidentally pressed the X. Let's go to this little brick here. Go through its properties. Alright, so I want to change the form factor, which I don't know if I've ever taught you guys how form factor works. Um, but I'm not going to... I'll give you guys a brief description right now. Brick, it it's the most like exclusive. It doesn't allow too many different variations of sizes. I mean, of course, you can still go up to 2048 and all of that. But it's a little not awesome. Uh, custom is probably the best. You can get down to point two on all three of the sizes, and anywhere in between point two and 2048 on all three parts of the size. I think I might be wrong about why. Um, like not why as in the question, but why as in the part of size. Uh, size dot y. Plate allows you to get down to point four. It's a little bit less inclusive than custom, but it's pretty it's pretty useful. And symmetric with symmetric all three sizes have to be exactly the same at all times. You can't you can do you can probably I've never tried to get down to a decimal size um with this, but I'm guessing you can probably go down to it as long as all three sizes are the same. There you go. Form factors and let's go back over here now. Alright. Bullet dot form factor equals custom and bullet dot size equals vector three dot new and we'll go point four point two point two let's add zeros here just to make it a little easier to read um, it's really useless other than that and bullet dot we don't need anchored uh, bullet dot color or brick color sorry brick color equals brick color dot new really black there we go and hmm anything else we should do for this bullet before we send it off now nah, I'm good and then the last part that we need to do is bullet dot parent equals game dot workspace oh wait actually one other last thing bullet that position equals tool that handle that position plus actually no we'll get into that next tutorial or maybe two tutorials from now we'll just go tool dot handle dot position for now and it'll just fall alright so now when we press F6 I can see this glitching really bad right now. I just, I can see it glitching. Um, but that's because of stuff I know we'll be able to fix. There we go. Alright, you guys, you're gonna have to pay attention, but you guys can see little things like dropping out of this gun, right? Or this light. Here, I'll even light them up for you with our light. Because we can do that just by pressing X. Alright. So look at that guys, you have been so successful, you've actually made bullets fall out of a gun. You're really getting there. Um, this is actually the furthest I've ever gotten with a gun completely custom script by me guys. But don't worry, I've read enough other gun scripts and I know enough of Lua that I got a pretty darn good idea as to how to make the rest of the guns. Um, but I'm actually really proud of myself because I've never really been a huge fan of making tools and stuff. So I'm I'm happy. All right. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like or the dislike button corresponding to how you felt about this video. Please like and share this video and comment below what you want me to talk about, what you want to see. All kinds of awesome stuff that you want to do or see from BloxCon. You guys don't have that much time, so hurry up. Get your friends to comment. Get everybody here to comment quickly so you guys can see everything you want. Alright? And I will catch you guys later.